An uptick in cases of the virus in our area could mean a problematic holiday season ahead. The health department reporting 442 new cases in Monroe County today. And this rise in cases is leading to more hospitalizations. Alex Love joins us now in studio to break down what doctors are telling us. Alex. Most of it is still a pandemic of the unvaccinated, Adam. Doctors with Rochester Regional are seeing nine out of 10 patients hospitalized from the coronavirus being unvaccinated, keeping Monroe County at a high infectious rate per CDC standards. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going backwards again. At one point earlier this year, doctors at Rochester Regional celebrated on a day they had zero patients hospitalized with COVID-19. Now they're back to capacity combining COVID and non-COVID patients on some days going over. The vast majority of them are unvaccinated. Basically 10 to 1 unvaccinated in the ICU. We're seeing an uptick in admissions and we're seeing an uptick in the number of people in the ICU with COVID. Per CDC research, any county in the red where more than 100 new cases pop up within a week out of 100,000 people is deemed a highly transmissive area and people should mask up indoors. Monroe County's seven-day average is more than triple that with 387 new COVID-19 cases. If they're unvaccinated and they're going to a function, we would recommend that they wear a mask at all times, especially, you know, if it's a crowded indoor setting. If they're not feeling 100% right, they shouldn't go to any function. They, they should consider getting tested. With the holidays around the corner and colder weather driving more New Yorkers to travel to see family and stay indoors, doctors worry this can fuel the surge in cases even more like last year. And per capita, Monroe County's seven-day average of new cases is already more than quadruple places around New York City. If that pace continues and the level of COVID admission continues at the pace, we will be looking at, you know, restricting certain services again. While there have been breakthrough cases among patients with certain pre-existing conditions, doctors emphasize those who are vaccinated but still catch COVID-19 down the road are far less likely to be hospitalized or need long-term care. Adam? Alex, thanks. Doctors also warning as the weather gets colder and the air gets drier, COVID-19 particles take more time to die out and linger in the air longer without any humidity to weigh them down.